Hey, Thrond here, and I'm here with a very special axe. This is the new axe sent to us from Medieval Shop. It is the Viking axe. And if you can tell, if you're used to uh, axe typology, this is a type M, if I'm not mistaken, from Peterson uh, typology. It's the later century version where you have the what most people consider the beaked or horned axes that are described in the uh, sagas. This is a hand version, a hand axe version. That's why it's uh, about 20 inches long or so. Uh, almost two feet. Uh, it weighs about a pound and a half. Uh, I'd say about uh, 0.64 kgs or so. Uh, it's about five by five, five inches by five inches, this one. So it is a hand axe. It's a nice uh, reproduction of an axe like this. It looks a lot like the Trilleborg axe type shape, sort of. Uh, you've got the uh, uh, points here, the reminiscent of this time period when they started doing this and trying to streamline and get a little bit lighter so that it has a lot of ability to move. That's the whole thing. It's fast. It's not a slow thing like people think axes are slow. Uh, it has a lot of power, a lot of cutting ability, a nice broad edge, but it also has the versatility of being fast. You're able to thrust with it and hook with it just like a bearded axe. So out of all the axes, I've got a bearded axe right here. This is one of my axes. I've actually turned it up to get the thrusting ability. You still have quite a bit of hooking ability. I think maybe people could have done that early period when they were on their way to making this design and using this more often because this was later century. This became the primary design of all battle axes. You're used to seeing this even more even than this and less pointed towards the tip. This one here is a, lot, a little bit less of a beard, more for punching. That's a nice design as well. It's good for throwing. Here we have the Nordic Axe. This thing performed extremely well. Eld even put it on a longer handle. And what did he do? He moved it upside down. A lot of people would say this is wrong because the beard's this way. But he did it specifically for throwing and for that same ability that you can cut through Gambison that we've demonstrated many a times with the point and you can also thrust with it. And it doesn't get hung up as much in a shield wall or a shield board. So uh, that's something that we believe that they might have done first before they started actually making the best of both worlds we have here in my hand. And we also have the uh, Francesca. Now, this one, I believe, was done for many different reasons. I think someone had to do with a smaller head designed to punch through armor. So, yes, I very much do like it. Uh, it aids in throwing with different hands. We've tested that out before as well. But out of all of them, my favorite design by far, and that's the reason we're reviewing this tonight, is we got Vikings coming out tonight, the new season of Ragnar Lothbrok. And Ragnar Lothbrok, as everybody knows, is, he uses an axe over his sword in the series. Whether the real Ragnar used an axe, who knows. But in the series he uses a Type M axe and it's even more hard and beaked than this and it's probably not historically accurate, but this is what it was based on. It's based on this design right here. And we're going to test this out, see how well it performs. I'm having a feeling this is going to be magnificent. It's the most versatile design. It's what they went to towards the later centuries and it, to me, it's the Viking battle axe. When I think of a true battle axe, it's not reminiscent of a tool like the uh, bearded axe when it's in this position, uh, which doesn't mean it's bad for combat at all and it's good for hooking, but we've done a lot of videos on that demonstrating that ability, but this can do both. It can thrust, it has the protrusion for the tip to cut with uh, if you're trying to cut through gambesons or leather. Uh, it has the hooking ability, it's got the, the beard as well, and a nice broad edge. This is like 14 by 14 centimeters about five inches, like I said, it's a good broad edge, uh, and it's extremely sharp, it came razor sharp, so I think, oh, and the other thing to look at, this looks just like it came out of the forge, you've got the blackening on it, so it shouldn't rust easily, I would keep it old just in case, but you can see the hammer marks, I don't know if you can see them here, but I can see them, up close you can see this was hammered by hand, it was made by a true craftsman, so I'm impressed with it, I'm, this is my new favorite axe, and uh, I'm saying we should go out and try it right away, made a special gel head, this should be spectacular. All right, we're here with our extra hard ballistics gel head. Since we're using axes, axes tend to go through the heads very, very easy. So what we're going to do is to make it a little bit more difficult. We got our silly hat because honestly, a lot of people couldn't afford much. They might have a leather piece on their head. They might have a, a wool cap. This is kind of like wool. Uh, and it's kind of like a jester hat. So I thought it'd be just the thing to put on here. We're going to try it out, see how the cloth protects, if it stops the edge any, if we just get bludgeoning damage, if it cuts through, just for fun. Uh, and kind of on our old Ragnar tonight on the Vikings. This is the Viking axe from the Needle Shop. So let's go ahead and try it out. And uh, I'm expecting to perform really well. It's one of our favorite designs. Let's 
Dan, just like I have a shield. I cast it out. Oh! oh! I don't think the hat did much. I'm sorry, guys, but this is bad. Matter of fact, I'm going to take the hat off in such a way that we leave the axe in the skull. And yes, it didn't do anything. Axes are just bad to the skull, so there's nothing on the side of them. Well, that was certainly gruesome, and I'm sure it would make Ragnar Lothbrok proud. Even the real Ragnar back in the day. Yow! Let's go ahead and try to see if we can hit him right in the more of a facial area, right in the eye, around this area, and see what it does. Oh! Oh, that was gruesome! Is, this is just nasty. I don't even have to hold it. It's just there. It is just there. <laughs> the way it is. And if you look here, it's just, ooh. He is flayed over. That is unbelievable. This is definitely an instant kill. Uh, it's gone all the way through the skull and split the skull. This is like one of the most gruesome wounds I have seen from any of our houses. I am very, very impressed, but I don't want to get into this. Anymore. Oh! He's losing full, uh, uh, what would it be, structural integrity. You've defaced him. <laughs> yeah. Literally defaced. That first shot made your second shot lose a lot of energy because it, it yeah. destabilized the structure. We're losing him. He is dying on us, I'm pretty sure. That was, that was a really, really nice shot. I'm very impressed with that. Despite the energy being eaten up, I think that, uh, oh, yeah. I think that still shows something. We should do some laying of hands here and slightly heal him so maybe he can uh, withstand a few more tests. Yeah, yeah I'd love to see it. Oh, no. He's well now. All right, we've got a pretty nice beak or horn sticking up right here, uh, like a horned or beaked axe. That's why it's one of our favorites. We've got points on both sides so you can hook with it and have a nice point and you can thrust with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come straight through on the side and see what happens with a thrust into the side of the head. Oh! Oh, that was just nasty. And of course, it shattered all the skull that was left. Hard to tell with a lot of loss of integrity. Well, with what's left, let's try a decap. Most certainly, let's do it now. You still got some neck left. Oh yeah, I went through part of it. I went a little high, I think, there. Oh, I see where I went through. We bit high. Oh! <laughs> oh! I think I got blood in my eye on that one. That's what she said. What we've done is we've gone effectively straight through our spine and through the front of the neck and we capped our head. He probably would have had flesh holding stuff on here because the axe blade's not quite wide enough. But that would have been a kill, straight to the throat. Beautiful. All right, one of the things about the Peterson Type M is you've got your beaks, basically. This is what axes turned into later century. This is an early Viking design. but later century, you have the same type of bottom and top protrusion or beak or horn like you hear about a lot of sagas. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. This is what we thrust it on. It's one of our new thrusting test. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out this way because it's the easy way, easiest way for us to set it up at the current time. I'm gonna come straight down and see how far I can bury this in. Oof. I would dare say we went through an entire phone book, most likely. That is pretty nasty. Ooh. Got a nice, nice entry wound here.
Well, that did fairly well. So I guess I'll go ahead and try the beard of this beaked or horned axe. You've got the beard part back here, which works good for hooking. Uh, it's not quite as extreme as most bearded axes, so it's not as likely to get hung up either in combat. The skial bore, shield bore. Anyway, let's go ahead and hook and see what it does. Make sure I have something good I can get a hold of here. Oh! That was impressive and extremely gruesome because I only picture this going into human flesh. This would tear a wound in a man through his clothing and all and be hooked into him. You would have a hook into the man that you had just hooked. You could literally pull him around by this and he'd be wounded. I am extremely, extremely impressed. Now let's just go ahead and see what this will do. We're gonna go for the full swing into the phone books and see how many we can go through and how deep and wide a cut it makes. Oof! That is nasty. Not bad at all. You look at the width of the wound, and that we went all the way through the entire phone book into the other one, halfway through the other one. That is extremely impressive for a cut like that, that wide of wound.